I'm anxious right now because of the uncertainty. I need some hope, okay? That's what I'm looking for. But right now, we got competitions for a lot of spots. Right. All of these guys, there may be some guys that are going to be looking for jobs, Carl, end of August. These guys have got to earn it. The reason why preseason does matter, getting a chance to showcase their talent, Mike, and seeing what guys are going to potentially make their 53-man roster. When you first get here, you get the privilege to, to the opportunity to get one of these jobs. And Terry and I, we look through the roster, you try to be very objective. And there's a lot of different circumstances, a lot of variables, right? How you make decisions. You got to take the whole picture, where everybody fits in contractually, where they're at in the career. And ultimately, can they still play? It's constant development, right? There's a competition to see who's going to be in the final 53 right now. Developing players throughout and see what they actually have. This week is so important in training camp. Everybody's jacked up for the first day, and then the grind starts to wear, and you start to really find out about guys, especially inside. This one thing I have to credit this coaching staff. They are saying, hey, you have to prove it to us. If you can't do that, hey, we're going to move on and find somebody else. It's competitive, and we're throwing everybody in there. When guys get tired, you can see who can focus. You get down, you put them in stressful situations and see that react. Those guys will fight it out through the entire preseason in camp. Feel like we've got good, really good competition in a lot of spots, but we got to go out and, and when you actually get out in those preseason games, it'll tell a lot about a lot of guys. All these guys are going to get every opportunity, and uh, we'll evaluate it day to day and week to week. It's the first game for this regime. It's the first game for this era. There's going to be a lot of guys tonight playing preseason games for the Falcons. Some of these guys have a lot to prove. These these matter quite a bit. You have to remember what preseason is, especially when you talk about that first game. You, you're just seeing who can play. Like, who could just flat up whoop a man? It's all about the, the competition, getting dressed up in your pretty uniform. In these games, going up against other guys. Other guys trying to win jobs are going to go at you. Wow, he got blasted. And he'll be what side. side will be toxic. Unloaded on him. Defensively, I thought we were very physical. You could feel those guys out there. It was good to see Marlon have some success. You could hear the pads popping. I thought that Dorian Etheridge is a monster. I thought Dorian Etheridge should really kind of stake his claim to one of those linebacker spots. I thought he was all over the field. He looked like he was the part. And you saw a little bit of what Dean Pease can do from a concept standpoint. I think that excited me more than anything else was the potential of what that linebacker core might be. You could feel some of those guys. I mean, the defensive line, I thought the inside linebackers, all those guys, we could feel them. Uh, and that was encouraging. We got to give the Titans credit. We felt they knocked us back a few times, and then we got back and get back on track situations, and they did a nice job pushing the pocket. Some of those pressures were effective for them. And Arthur Smith's going to take the headset off, and Atlanta is going to go look at some tape for the next couple days. 23 to 3, the Titans are winners. We did a very poor job of of executing. We we had way too many penalties and. I got to do a better job getting these guys ready, these young guys ready to roll. And uh, this will be a really good test for us down in Miami this week, going and practicing down there and playing, see if we can make some improvements. Well, before you even get to game two, John, one of the things I love that the Falcons are actually doing is having these joint practices. Because when you go out there to practice against another team, you have to go 100% every single play. The practice speed and game speed, they are two completely different things. But when you're going against another team in practice, oh, that speed is ramped up. This will be a very important week when they go down to Miami. Guys aren't going to cheat as much. It'll be a little bit more competitive juice flowing because you're going against a different colored helmet. I think they'll be very impactful. You didn't see a lot of BS out here. It was good work. We feel good about the guys we got out there. Uh, Calvin, Russ, OZ, Christian Blake, Tajay, uh, obviously Hayden, Kyle. We're trying to build that chemistry with everybody in the past game and the running backs as well. It's our chance to, you know, see what our guys can do to test where we're at, 
they stress you defensively with, with your rules, you know, and they do a really good job. And they got us a few times. And we certainly, you know, had a few on, on our end too that, that we did well. Um, but this is what this time of the year is all about, you know, to see what we can do, what we can't do, and what we need to clean up. And it's a good change of pace during camp. You're going against somebody different. It brings a little bit different energy level. Certainly felt like we took a, a step forward and we need to, uh, you know, continue that as, as we move through camp. I wanted to practice against a team like the Dolphins for multiple reasons. We wanted to play these young guys because there's no other way to develop these guys and to put them out there. Because we need to get a lot better this week and the guys that go back out there, whoever we decide to play, we expect them to, to improve. And that's how we'll judge them. We've been talking with our listeners about this. What are we looking at? What are we looking for? This preseason, in these preseason games, it's time to show up. When we talk about this, this preseason game coming up to second one, the importance that it could potentially mean for this team and, and getting people ready for the season. Why these games are so important for these young guys is who reacts the best? Who's able to go out there and make those split-second decisions and prove that you're a smart football player? Like, you're going to make this team being a smart football player. Atlanta coming with the pressure from the big lick and slices down Malcolm Brown. That experience out there is, is so valuable. And then we're not going to make excuses, you know. And so we, we got to evaluate how we're playing schematically. We're not out there trying to trick anybody. We're trying to see if we can block, we can get open, we can catch. I thought some guys took another step tonight. We need to possess the ball a little bit longer, and we need to, when we get down in the red zone, we need to take advantage. We're just talking about basic, like, hey, hey teams put the Dolphins push this around. Wait a minute now, stop. Slow your roll here. We don't have our starters in. It was ugly, but that's what happens when you play a bunch of rookies and, and backups against a team that went to the playoffs last year. Exactly. Because the Dolphins played their starters. You're going to be the optimist of silver lining. At least we cut down some of the penalties so we weren't and get back on track. We were able to get in some drives, but we need to score on more possessions. Clear. Here goes Huntley on the right side, and the Duke will score. You, know, you want to see if they're going to push through. We, we don't want to be front runners. We want to be a team that can stand up tough tough situations because that's the nature of the beast in the NFL. And when you have a chance to develop players, that's invaluable. We want guys that are going to continue to swing and be able to close games because these, these games are going to come down in the regular season more times than not to one possession. And we, we got to control those situations. Well, Dolphin home game in the preseason. They're only one. The final here tonight in South Florida, Miami 37 and Atlanta 17. Atlanta meet the Cleveland Browns next Sunday night at 8 o'clock. We're two preseason games in. We got one more against the Browns, and it's time to go, man. There's a handful of competitions that still have not been settled yet. There's guys that are playing for their NFL futures. So there's a lot on the line. That's kind of what we're going to be watching for against the Browns. This is it. Next time somebody in the NFL puts it on a tee, it'll be for real after tonight. Felt like the very first play was clearly scripted for everybody who bought a ticket and sitting at home. It's like, all right, you guys want to see Kyle Pitts? Here he is. Kyle Pitts, number eight. That's the way you want to debut right there. <laughs> want to get him a few snaps, get into a routine, so get him ready to, for uh, week one. Kyle, we didn't want his first snap to be against Philly. We thought, you know, we, he's done a nice job all preseason. Um, like I said we, we try to be smart with guys, create true competition. Cleveland made a couple plays, got a couple fourth down stops. Those are huge plays in the game. Those are momentum changing plays. We just got to be better operationally, and, and that's on me. I, I, I don't want to see that out there. We played obviously the, the last game in the preseason. You got a 17 game regular season we got to get ready to play for. It's a marathon. We wanted to get as much valuable evaluation we could to develop guys. We'll see where we go now going in the regular season. Atlanta! Are you ready for the regular season? We are now officially counting down, and I couldn't be more happy about it. <laughs> And so now we know officially what the Falcons roster, as it stands right now, what, what do you think about the 53-man right now for the Falcons? I think this team, I think this team is going to surprise a lot of people. I really, really do. 
I'm optimistic about their team. I like Arthur Smith as a coach. I like Dean Teese as a defensive coordinator. The heartbeat of this entire team is the offense. So I want them to have the identity of being tough. When people Nasty. talk about the Falcons, that was oh. tough. I think the Falcons' defense is going to be a little bit better than people think. And I think the Falcons will surprise some people. Falcons. It's close. We are right there. We're just going to a couple more sleeps and we play the photo for Eagles. I like my chances against that team out the gate. I like my chances against the Philadelphia Eagles if I'm the Atlanta Falcons out the gate. I really, really do.